Property owners can now continue with their lawsuit against the state for the 2020 dam failures that brought historic flooding to mid-Michigan. In a unanimous decision, the Michigan Court of Appeals says they can sue two state departments. Attorney Ben Johnson represents some of the people. He says this means this lawsuit can move forward. The victims are right. This is not barred by governmental immunity. Go back to the trial court and now we get busy with depositions and, and getting into the meat and potatoes of, of, of what really went wrong here. To figure out what went wrong when the dams failed in mid-Michigan in May of 2020. This resulted in a hundred year flood. The lawsuit filed by attorney Ben Johnson on behalf of some property owners claimed the state should be held accountable. And, and obviously we're gonna spend the next year to year and a half taking hundreds of depositions to get to the bottom of all the things that the state knew was wrong with these dams. This lawsuit claims that the victims who are property owners lost thousands of dollars because of the flood. Johnson says the state did not do anything to prevent these dams from failing. Even worse than doing nothing, they then required the dam owners to rise, raise the level of the water within a month or so of these floods, making it easier to flood. This lawsuit also claims the private owner of the dam was told by the state to raise water levels back in 2020. After that was done, days of rain created more water into the lakes, eventually causing the dams to breach. They, they absolutely need to get going here, or better yet, come to the table and let's talk about compensating these victims, right, and take care of the lawsuit by way of a, a, a settlement. Tonight, the Michigan Attorney General's office had this to say, quote, the Michigan Court of Appeals has decided to wait longer before considering the evidence in this case. However, this does not change the fact that widely available evidence disproves the story the plaintiffs tell about the Edenville Dam. The AG's office went on to say they are reviewing this ruling from the Court of Appeals. Ben Johnson tells me that the state could ask for the Michigan Supreme Court to hear arguments on this case.